Good morning and welcome to Chair Yoga. This class is all about the first chakra. And that's why I'm wearing red, which is the color of our first chakra. And chakras are our energy centers in our body. Our first chakra is located at the base of our spine. It's a ball of red energy. However, it also controls all of our lower limbs. So from our hips all the way down to our toes. So we're going to be focusing on the energy of the first chakra today, including a guided meditation as part of our class. So let's get started. Find a comfortable seat. Sit up nice and tall. And if you can, sit so that your feet are flat on the floor. You wanna have your legs coming right out from your hips, your knees right over your ankles, your feet parallel. Roll the shoulders back and down and relax the palms up. Now, it's a challenge for me to both have my feet on the floor and feel the back of my chair. So I'm gonna to choose to feel the back of my chair. So that's like the earth for me. So you choose either the floor or the chair if you need to. Close your eyes if that feels safe. So the first chakra is all about our connection to the earth. It's about structure. It's about feeling grounded, safe, and secure. So whatever's going on in the world right now for this next 45 minutes, in this space, you are totally safe and secure. There's nothing going on here except you, your body, and your breath. So feel how you're supported in your chair. Let your legs relax into the seat of the chair. Let your back and shoulders relax into the back of the chair. Feel the support of the earth through the support of the chair. Allow yourself to feel held and supported, knowing that you are safe, secure, and grounded. And the affirmation that we will use with our first chakra is, I stand for myself. So knowing that it is safe for you to be who you are, standing tall and proud on the earth, in your glory, in your beauty. And let's bring the hands to the heart. We're going to inhale, reaching up into the heavens, drawing that heavenly energy down. And exhale down the legs, inhaling that energy up. Exhaling down, all the way down through the legs, sending that energy into the earth. Inhaling, bringing that energy up from the earth. Exhaling down. You can imagine red earth energy coming up your legs as you inhale up. Exhaling down the legs and into the earth. Anything you don't need, let the earth transform it. And one more.
and resting your hands at your heart. And so connecting to the earth, feeling the stability of the lower body, the spine reaching up, we'll begin to rotate the head. And the other way. Bring the head back to center. And let's lower the ear to the shoulder. Come back up and lower the ear the other way. And again, feel the stretch in your neck. And over. And one more time. and back to center. Bring the chin to the chest. And look up. And lower the chin, feel the stretch in the back. Inhale up. And down. And and back to center. Let's shrug the shoulders up to the ears. <sighs> Let them down with a sigh. <sighs> Inhale, shrug them up. And <sighs> One more time, shrug them up. Exhale. And let's press the shoulders back and reach the arms forward at the same time. Then turn the palms up and down. So the shoulders are back and down, pressing into the chair, not up by your ears. And we'll circle. And circle back the other way. And let's open and close the fists. And bring your arms out goddess style, shoulders down, feeling the back of the chair and the bottom of the chair supporting you. Let's bring the elbows in as close as you can. Inhale, press the elbows back. Moving with the breath. Last one. And down. Uh, 
let's stretch out a leg and we'll point and flex the ankles and the feet. So remember our first chakra extends all the way down our legs. So we're breathing energy into our feet and legs. And let's circle that ankle. And circle back. And we'll bring that foot down. Let's lift the other foot, we'll point and flex. And circle the ankle. And circle back the other way. And the breath and take a deep breath. Let's bring one knee into the chest, give that leg a hug. Pressing the other foot into the floor if you can, just feeling the connection to the earth. And we'll circle. And we'll circle back the other way. And then take a moment to feel the two legs. And we'll bring the other leg in and we'll give it a hug, hugging it in as close as you can, and then circling. And circling back the other way. And um, let's walk our feet out a little wider, scoot towards the front of our chair, holding onto the chair for support. We're going to lower one knee down and then the other. Opening the hips and the knees. And come back to center and grounding through the feet, bring the hands to the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. So we're feeling our connection to the earth, drawing the pelvic floor up and sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna press one shoulder forward and look over the other shoulder. And then inhale back up, press the other shoulder forward and look over your opposite shoulder. Inhale back up. Exhale over, taking a breath here, inhaling nice and slow, 
Exhaling over. Taking a breath. Inhale back up. Do two more sets. Take a full breath here, grounding through the feet, letting the strength of your feet helping you lift up, strength of your legs, exhaling over, over your shoulder, inhaling up, feeling those legs strong and energetic. Last one. And exhaling over. Inhaling back up. And let's toe heel back to center. We'll come into an easy spinal twist. Bring one hand to the side of your leg, the other to the side or back of the chair, and twist around. And slowly untwist and bring your hand to the outside of the leg, the other hand to the back of the chair, side of the chair, whatever works for you. And inhale back to center. Scoop back in your chair a little bit. Let's do some sun salutes. Inhale. Reaching up, keeping the feet nice and strong, the legs nice and strong as we render over. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way back up. So we're doing some half salutes. I said ten salutes, but I meant half salutes. Sorry. Reach up and hands to heart. So we're doing half salutes. Inhale, open. Pressing down through the feet, strong legs. Exhale, swan dive over. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way back up. And hands to heart. Let's do three more. Inhaling. Let your head go. Press into the feet, feel the strength of your legs to help your body lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, open. Reaching up, looking up if you can, hands to heart. I think that was one or two more. Here we go. Reach and fold. And inhale, half lift. Exhale over. Inhale, open, stretch. And down, feeling yourself with air. Last one, deep breath, feel the whole body expanding. And fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over. Inhale, big reach. And hands down. Maybe one more pose before we go into our first chakra meditation. We're just simply going to take one arm up over the head and do a little side stretch. Roll that shoulder back and look up if that works for you. Inhale back to center. 
and down. I always love to compare how different the two sides feel. Reach up and stretch over. Roll the shoulder back up. Back and look up if you can, if that feels right. And inhale back, reach out, and down. So we're talking today about and experiencing today our first chakra, a connection to the earth, the chakra that gives us a sense of safety, groundedness, security, comfort in our physical body. And so I want you to find a mountain pose that works for you. Again, if you can have your feet on the floor and your back against the back of the chair, that's great. If not, this is gonna take at least five minutes, maybe longer. So you wanna pick a variation that you feel comfortable in and we'll do it in seated mountain. So again, you can be against the back of your chair and if you need to put something under your feet to make them, so you can do the whole thing. Actually, I can put my yoga mat under my feet. And that will give me something to put my feet on as well. So, there we go. So I'm grounded and I'm tall. So find something that works for you. I'm going to read this meditation. It comes from Joseph LePage, who is one of my teachers. And uh, you've probably heard a lot of these instructions before, but I like the subtlety of his full meditation. So if you feel comfortable to close your eyes, here we go. Place the feet hip width and parallel. Spread and lift the toes and feel your weight evenly distributed across the feet. Now relax the toes and allow your weight to sink into your feet, feeling how your weight rests on your feet. As you press the feet downward, begin to attune to the earth to deepen your connection. Feel as if you could grow roots down to the center of the earth and allow earth energy to be drawn up into the body, creating the steadiness of a mountain throughout your being. Feel the spine and the sitting bones in the base of the chair. Feel yourself naturally balanced on both sits bones. Now from this firm base of support, feel a line of energy from the earth up through the crown of the head. Lengthen and lift the body upward along this line of energy as the feet continue to press into the earth. As the body lengthens, also allow it to become fuller. As the feet press earthward and the body lengthens, feel the thighs engage, creating a contraction. Sense the energy moving down the outer borders of the legs and up the inner thighs into the core of the body. Notice the natural drawing downward of the tailbone and an upward core lift of the pelvic floor. Together with the firming of the muscles of the perineum, the base of the body.
Allow the outer hips to remain relaxed and pressing outward away from the center. As the tailbone drops and the torso continues to lengthen, feel the spinal column lengthen and the vertebrae separate, creating space between each segment of the spine from the tailbone all the way up to the base of the head. Feel a lift in the rib cage from all four sides evenly. A good way to sense this is to actually place your hands on the rib cage and lift it upward. Leave the rib cage lifted and then allow the shoulders to relax down. Become aware of the fullness of the breath and the natural expansion of the rib cage and chest. Draw the lower ribs at the front of the body, gently in towards the spine. Feel the lengthening through the back of the torso as you breathe and open the back ribs. Draw the area under the armpits upward and feel the lengthening through the sides of the ribs as you release the shoulders downward and press the fingertips gently down towards the earth or relaxing the palms up on your lap. Lengthen the neck and lift the head. Relax the facial muscles and the root of the tongue. Draw the throat down and back. Feel the eyes relax back towards the base of the skull with the chin parallel to the earth. Now sense the overall alignment of all the regions of the body, the head over the shoulders, the shoulders over the pelvis, the knees in line with the hips, the knees in relation to the feet and ankles. Notice the free flow of energy to every cell in your body. Allow the growing sensation of energy in the body to initiate the stretch of the arms out to the sides, shoulder height. Stretch the fingertips away from each other and lengthen the arms as you turn the palms upward and reach towards the ceiling with the palms facing each other. Draw the shoulder blades back and down towards the hips as you continue to lengthen the spine. Allow the arms to come parallel to each other as much as possible with the shoulder blades still drawn down the back. Let the little finger sides of the hands turn inward slightly 
to create space between the shoulder blades. The shoulders remain relaxed as the fingertips reach upward. Now with the eyes still closed, sense the energy body. You are made of energy. Allow the energy body to expand and feel the physical body expanding and opening even more as the physical and energetic levels merge. Again, if it's too much to have your arms up, let them come back down, resting on your lap and rest in the space of openness for three more breaths. We will do some standing poses using the openness, awareness, and alignment that we just created in our mountain pose meditation. When you're ready, you come to standing. Facing your chair. And we'll do some downward facing dogs. We're starting in Tadasana. And we'll bring our hands to the base of the chair. And bend our knees and walk backwards with nice bent knees, reaching our hips back, feeling our feet pressing into the earth. And then if you can, straightening your legs but more importantly, pulling your inner groins back, feeling the strength of your legs, pulling your spine long. And we're gonna come forward into a plank pose. Again, nice long spine. Feeling that Tadasana here. And then keeping the elbows hugging the body, we're going to come forward towards the chair and then dropping the pelvis onto the chair, lifting the chest. Coming back into our plank pose and pressing back into our downward facing dog. Very slowly, we'll walk back towards the chair and come back to Tadasana. Just noticing how we feel before we do two more sets. Just feeling your standing Tadasana after that sitting Tadasana meditation. Feeling the strength and groundedness of your legs. Feeling calm, centered, and secure. I stand for myself. Here we go, hands to the chair, walking yourself back, reaching back through the inner groins, the strong legs, pulling your spine back. You lift your toes and spread them wide and then relax them back down. Deep breaths, opening the body, drawing energy up from the earth. Inhaling forward into a plank pose, feeling like Tadasana, just on an angle. Squeezing the elbows in as you bring your pelvis to the chair and lift your chest. Coming back to your plank pose, back to your downward facing dog.
Walking yourself forward. And slowly coming up into the basana. Drawing that red earth energy up from the floor. Feeling calm, centered, and stable. Safe and secure. And one more set, hands to the chair. Walking back with bent knees, pressing into the chair as you pull your thighs back and lift your hips, strong legs, the engine here to lengthen your spine. Inhale forward into plank pose. Feel into dasana here, tailbone down, belly in. Elbows hug the body as you bring your pelvis to the chair and lift your chest. And come back into your plank pose. Back into your downward facing dog. And slowly walking your way back to the chair, coming back up, finding Tadasana. That's too much. That was a challenge. You can sit back down in Tadasana and recoup that way. If you're sitting, you don't want to do any more standing poses. You have one leg out in front, the other leg behind you, and you can slide down your leg. If you're standing, you're going to step one foot back, you're going to rock back, lifting the front toe, and rock forward, lifting the back heel, stretching up. Exhaling, rocking back, and lifting the front toes, and over that leg. Inhaling. And step together and we'll step the other foot back. Rock your back, lifting the front toes, bowing towards the leg. Inhaling, rocking forward, lifting. And step forward, coming back to Tadasana, seated or standing. We're going to start the same way, but this time stepping back further and bending the front knee, and then straightening the legs. Coming forward, stretching up as you bend the front knee. Exhaling, pressing back, lifting the front toes as you bow towards the leg. Inhaling, coming forward with a bent knee. Exhaling, back. Inhaling, lift. And exhaling, back. Last one, dropping the hips, feeling the strength of your legs. Exhaling back. And we'll come forward. So stabilize yourself and then bring your other foot together. And then we'll take a big step back on that leg, bending the front knee. And reaching back, lifting the front toes, bowing over the leg. Inhaling, lifting the back heel, stretching up. Exhaling, pulling yourself back. 
Inhaling forward, dropping the hips, strong legs supporting you. Inhaling forward, and reaching back. And forward, and stopping here, stabilizing yourself before you bring your other foot together. And then again, coming back into Tadasana, or seated mountain pose. Drawing that earth energy up. We're going to do goddess into starfish. So if you're seated, it would look like this. And if you're standing, do the legs as well. And if you move each other the way. So coming into goddess pose, second position ballet, rolling the shoulders back and down. As we inhale, we straighten. As we exhale, pressing the elbows and the knees back. Feeling the strong legs reaching down into the earth to give us the stretch up. Feeling our connection to the earth as we sink down, rebounding up from that connection to the earth. We'll make this our last one. And if you'd like to turn this into a balancing pose, you can come on back down and lift your heels. You can be holding onto your chair and doing it. Or if you're sitting in the chair, you can still lift your heels and strengthen your ankles and feet. And release. And we're going to do tree pose. So if you're sitting in a chair and don't want to do tree, you can simply bring your foot against your ankle or like that, just to open that hip. If you're standing, you want to hold on to a chair or table, go right ahead and do that. So again, we're going to start in Tadasana, whether you're sitting or standing. Drawing the earth energy up. Let's rotate the knee out to the side. And then bringing your heel against your ankle, calf, or wherever works for you. And then the opposite arm can come up overhead or both arms, whatever you like. And let's bring that knee forward and down. And then we'll change sides. Finding Tadasana first, drawing that energy up, rotating the out to the side, and then again, heel against the ankle or calf, whatever you like. Bring your opposite arm up if you like, or both arms. Drawing that earth energy up the standing leg. Feeling the stability and groundedness that gives you confidence and courage. And then coming back to Tadasana. Again, you can be holding onto your chair if you need to, or even sitting in your chair. I stand for myself. Let's come back into our chairs. We 
look nice and tall. We're going to come up onto our toes and turn our knees outward. So we're opening our inner thighs, coming into Baddha Konasana. Again, feeling the tailbone and the hips reaching into the earth, the sitting bones, stretching up tall. It doesn't work for you to be on your toes. Yes, you could do that. Feet flat on the floor. Feels a little different, but that's okay. Try that too. It pitches your body forward a little bit, perhaps. And let's bring those legs back in and we'll scoop. We'll scoot ourselves over to one side of the chair and drop that knee. Let's feel the front of that thigh stretch. And then we can turn that into a twist, bringing your hand across the body, grabbing the back of the chair. Inhale back to center, bring your leg back. Scoot your butt over to the other side of the chair and drop your knee down on that side. Just feel the stretch in the front of your thigh. And then turn that into a twist, bring your hand to your leg of the chair. And inhale back to center, bring that leg in, scoot back to center. We'll end with one final twist, starting with Tadasana. We'll bring our hands to our hearts, turn to one side, tip over, bring your elbow to your knee if you can. And you can reach your arms out. Pressing against the side of your leg and pressing your feet into the floor to help you twist. Inhale back to center. Find Tadasana. We'll twist the other way, tipping over, trying to keep your spine straight. You're not rounding over, but long straight spine. Have your elbow between your knees if you like, or reaching your arms to the outside of the legs, pressing against the knee to help you spin your body. Inhale the hands back to the heart, come back up. Come back into your chair. I'm going to sit in lotus, but you don't have to. Coming back into your seated mountain or lotus pose. Close your eyes. Take in today's class. The feeling of grounding down through your sitting bones and through your feet. Of that sense of security, stability safety, allowing your body to reach up tall. I stand for myself. 
It is safe to be me. In all my glory. And when you're ready, slowly open your eyes and come back into the room. So I hope this class left you feeling grounded, centered, safe, secure, confident, connected to the earth. Namaste. Namaste.